Generic greetings and welcome back once again to TCG, the Couch Up Simulator, where in the previous episode we got these anti-stink uh, anti, um, barriers put in essentially, and it is actually working very, very well. It cost me a grand to do it, but I think it's been worth it. And we also got some new stocks, specifically we've got these sort of fire pig plushy things which... Apparently someone wants to buy two of them. Anyway, we're going to continue on selling as that is the end of the game and the end of that sentence. But yes, we'll see how we get on. I do want to most likely uh, want to get... Well, I certainly need to spend about a grand very early on. Oh, wow, this customer is... Is it, is it the birthday? Uh, and... 10, 12, there we go. Yeah, we want to definitely go for uh, some restocking. I think what I'm going to do is interact. I'm going to, for this one, say restock shelf should i also fill up shelf with no label no so they're going to restock and that also means oh no 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 wait sorry my mistake uh, i'm going to say man the counter because i do want to go to recruitment and hire this next person terence fair but i've just realized it's a processing fee of a grand so my goal is to oh board games are completely out okay i'm gonna go for those and it was Mafia Works as well. It's good to know that when you talk to the employee, that they, it does say, like, you know, do you want me to put the empty shelves? I think that's a nice touch. I think that is a very nice touch. Anyway, let's get some of this stuff on sale. So, one, two, three, and four. Good. So, we need... As I mentioned before, we need a, a total of about a grand, I think. Wow, okay, those have, I bet those have altered in price. Yeah, 32 and done. So we'll need those adding, but we'll see. Have we got any board games to put on there? No. Dice, no. What's this one? It is blue dice. That's already maxed out. So we're all good there. Anyway, going to double check. Stock reordering, 934,800... Oh, 934.88, not 930,000. Eh, that would be a bit ridiculous. Figurines. We do have an eye plushie, green deck box, yellow deck box, and blue. I do want another pangy plushie, but that's going to be over a grand. That's That feels like an achievement, right? Does that feel like an achievement that we're going to get? I don't know. What I'm going to do is... Rip some cards open. Rip some packs of cards open, I guess. And see what we get. By the way, today's beverage is... Tasty, thanks. Um, <laughs> that is uh, still the same beverage as previously. That's an exclusive one there. Hmm, yes. Uh, it's a grape soda. Ooh, a musket. Uh, exclusive. That's pretty good. Lots of new ones. And... Couple of extras here. That's all good. And a couple of new ones again. And there we are. Right, we have enough money to, I think. Oh, that's never been sold before. 45. I think we have enough money to go to stock ordering and over a grand. Like I say, it feels like that should be an it should be an achievement to do that. Alright. And all we're gonna do now is get stock on shelves. It's going to go in that corner. Green deck box. There we go. Don't think we'll hit level 16 today, although it depends on what cards. If I just keep opening cards, obviously more experience, so it, if it's possible. It is possible. Oops. And then this is new. This is Nanomite plushie. I'm just going to get rid of that. Set a price as 31. Get rid of the box. Like that. Yeah, with these two installed as they are, that's definitely been definitely been worth it. Back over to stock then. I definitely need some more stock. We need one of those. We need one of those. And we don't have access to level 16 for that one yet. They're the different boxes. So I think actually we're going to need another one of them. 
and another one of them. And now we're doing for just basic stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to have basically one of everything. There we go. Okay. The next figurine that we have access to, actually we've got lots of access. These are all plushies and then these are figurines. So we're going to have, I think, a, a row of figurines. That's probably going to happen. Let's see how we get on on that front. And do I have another red deck box? Don't think so. Yeah, that's that one. Shouldn't really stack them because then I have difficulty seeing exactly what what we have. Blue. Yeah, blue over here. So it's only red that we haven't got. Looks like there's a bit of a gap here. Start selling. Uh, I'll go for 20 on that one. And that one. Uh, 10. Ten. Done. All right. I could do with some spray. So 550 generic units of currency. I don't know whether I want some more tables in as well. But realistically, refill the shelves. And I see there's not enough people here to warrant that. Yeah, to warrant extra tables. It might be good to have another one of these, but this is never really, like, frequented enough to require another one. Unless... Unless, you know... Mm, no. It's unless, like, it would benefit us to have multiple of these, but I don't think so. I still don't know how the game spawns people. Is it based on the size of the store, about the products you've got? Your experience level would probably be the easiest metric for it to work out with. I'm not sure. What I'm sure is we do need to spend some money and we're going to get this back to a nice sort of full shelf. This um, shop simulator genre that we are seem to be in the maelstrom of. They all have a similar mechanic in that you buy stuff and it is just immediately dumped outside. <laughs> uh, oh, there's someone coming along who's going to benefit from our centers. Ah, there we go. Sadly, there's been situations where those could be benefit in real life. And I can go in there. And these rare packs. Oh, wow. We're completely out of them. Interesting. Let's double check the prices of them then. To, to, I know we only had a couple left, so that's probably what's happened there. Let's put the price up for that. Did I just type that in right? Yeah, 32, yeah. And that's actually okay. Yeah, they're okay. Right, good. Get rid of that one. Turn that on. And I think I'm just going to open some common card packs again. Because why not? A straight away new one. There still might be some super, super, super rare ones at some point. You never know. But opening well. And... Is that a pig something? Oh, it's, it's the plushie that we've got. And there's a Silver Edition Batarang. It's 36, I believe, value, which is good. Now, we're approaching 400 generic units of currency. I would very much like to think that we'd have enough money to get... To, to hire that person, but it's a grand. And realistically, I'm going to make 600 ish in three hours. No, no, I don't think I will. Don't think I will. So we're not going to have the new person until, well, a different time. 
And that, that sold out again. People really like that board game. Let's go with two of those and one of the others. And then get those on the shelf. This is this Mafia Works. This can go in that corner. And this one, which goes in that corner as well, but we can keep it closed. It's just a replacement for that. Oh, wow. Those deck boxes are selling massively as well. Mm, two of. And maybe an epic card pack. And maybe an uncommon one. And maybe the plushies? No, I don't think so, actually. Oh, looks like we've got some people coming in here and buying some of these singles. Put them on shop shelf, and there we go. Right, stock ordering. And there's some experience for doing that. Every action you gain experience by the sound of it. At least it sort of feels that way. Put these on the shelf. And obviously you've got double set of these. I could just go in the corner. That's our warehouse. <laughs> and just fill this shelf up. I think we'll end up filling it. Uh, almost. Almost. How's our levels? Good and good. Oh. More cards over here. Let's go with price sorting. Again, some of these... They don't have a price set because we've never sold them before, so they might be new. So we are selling the most expensive. You wouldn't necessarily just put loads of commons there, but why not? People still might want them. That's the whole point. A certain build or a collection or meta's changed or whatever. Someone's found some hideously abusive combination. <laughs> and wants to... Power game it. Oh, that's uh, actually got still some it in. Fine. So yeah, we're definitely not getting the next member of staff because it's almost finished the day. And yeah, I've got even less money than when I <laughs> started, really. Well, not the day, but the when we talked about getting another staff member. So, people standing up and leaving, I think... We'll let the guy finish serving. No, we'll let them finish serving and then call it a day. Just going to put that in. Set a price. Seven, why not? So what tends to happen is if there's still customers in the shop playing, what? Why is discount Brad Pitt sitting like a prawn? Anyway, yeah. When you've got customers, like, queuing up, this staff member will stay. But if they're not queuing, so if they're still wandering, they'll just leave. <laughs> oh, so that guy's just bought some cards and they're playing. Fine. As soon as that purchase is gone, we're going to end the day. End the day. Day 21, level 15 and a half. Minus money, technically. I'm just going to straight up open the store. And feel free to come in. Oh, we've got anti stink. <laughs> yes, they are. And spray. Everything's clean, clean, clean. Right. Just for experience purposes, I'm just going to open some cards. There's not much you can do the first hour or so of the day, anyway. Because people tend to just getting stuff and then going queuing up. So far, nothing major here. Nothing surprising. There's a new guppy. Another new one there. It's only a couple of new cards so far. And the value of... Not much, basically. Right. Looks like we've got one, two, three, four people queuing. So... There's that. 
So, getting another, getting some new cards, uh, some card tables, would that be of some benefit? Player tables. Could also get more card tables. Get a workbench as well, but I don't know what it does. I don't know what benefit it affords us. Checkout counter, big warehouse shelf. I don't know whether like you can, yeah, I don't know what the, what you can do with the workbench, but it wouldn't have, wouldn't be right to have the workbench in here, surely. It just wouldn't make much sense. Then again, having the stock like this and people still coming in to buy things is also, in my mind, doesn't make much sense. Can you open these? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> just want to see if you could. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got some of these that have been bought and sold. Okay. Just double check the price. Yeah, the prices went up, that's why. So I'm going to set that to 33. That's still 32, that's fine. Yes, yeah, so you have to be careful on your stock. If you, I mean, ideally, end of the day, or next day, you want to look at this. Oh, wait, bills. <gasps> okay, that's bad. So I've paid the electric and the salary, but I ain't paying the rent. The rent's due in two days. And it's 760 generic units of currency. Please buy things, everybody. Oh yeah, that guy really wants those. Let's restock shelves. So that's pretty much emptied out anyway. Dice used to be a great seller, and now, for whatever reason, they're just... Well, everybody's got dice now, it appears. Nobody wants them anymore. Oh, Mafia Works has went down by one. No, we've got a spare one. And there we go. Gonna open some of these. So, let's see how we get on. Oh, a silver edition. Talon 2. Excuse me. Walking right through us. In for Hog, PX Rare, I think it was. It's exclusive. Don't know. Nimbus there, new. So I don't know how many card packs I've opened since checking out the checking out the folder. But there's a lot of news there. Oh no, it does, it does say 314 now. Okay. So we have found definitely new ones. This is good. Alright. Take up some of these, why not? We are definitely going through our own supply here. But all in the aim of getting experience and Whoa! That is a Nimbacolo. It's a rare EX exclusive, I think. Uh, lots of stats. The main takeaway, it's worth 618 generic units of currency. <laughs> wow. That's ridiculous. I was gonna say that's our most expensive card that we've ever drawn, and it is. But it's not even close. 798 for a min Minotos rare exclusive. So this one draw has yielded two of the most expensive cards we've ever had. I... <laughs> I'm very surprised. I'm going to pay that bill. I'm going to pay that bill. And I want to get these on the shelf as fast as possible. But I don't really want to be taking these. I mean, I, mean, I can take the card. But I think people will come along and do some selling. Buying and selling. Right, okay, so what do we want to do now? Well, jump for joy with the two cards. Imagine you, you were, you're in a store and you did that. I mean, you'd take the roof off. <laughs> Let's go to figurines. And one of each. I'd like the other plushies, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'd prefer the... I think I'd prefer the... 
an extra hiring first. Hmm. Put that on there. Yellow. And green's full. We don't have any red. So we'll see. Let's open some of these. I mean, we've already exhausted our luck points today. <laughs> There's no way we're going to find more expensive cards than that. Just off those couple of packs, it was just off the two real expensive ones. Was it like 1,400, I think it might have got to? That's without that's without just the general fodder of the cards. There's Silver Edition Decimate, worth 32. Just feels like it's worth nothing these days. So I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to have security as we put this card on there for 850. 800. It's so close to the dot. I don't even like it being there. Because <laughs> you know someone from certain parts. The question we're bringing is going to run in and go grab and then yeah 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 run down the run down there and uh, okay good job we have CCTV and know where they live right there's that and it's going to be six fifty I think I might I think I might have had that as too expensive let's go for eight twenty so we're still making profit but not ridiculous profit we'll know when it sells. Because the bank balance is going to shoot up. In the meantime, keep an eye on it. <laughs> right, let's go with... Um, let's see what other events we can run. Vintage. Cards with first edition border might increase in price. Cards with certain certain border might decrease in price. That's a vintage... Uh, vintage event. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run that. Why not? That'll be tomorrow, obviously. Yeah, right. So it was purchase those. The plushies. I've I've paid the bills off. That was the main thing. I paid off the the rent. Cause we were Well, I don't know what happens if you don't pay the rent. I assume it's game over. Do you just just get evicted? <laughs> don't know. Looks like we've got another Mafia Works sale. Not that one, though. Them cards are still there. It's when you go up to this real rare one, these two rare ones, and you look at it and it's like a drawing of the card. Someone's someone's subtly replaced it. <laughs> um, we haven't drawn one of these for a bit, so we'll, we'll draw some cards from here. Some random opens. Let's see what we get. Ah. Oh. First edition Batman card. Yeah, it feels right running the vintage event because you get more money and if we're selling first editions there's a silver edition it means that that might go up just keep an eye on that bank balance i would i just want to see it top the thousand from one sale <laughs> oh there it is we've done it it that was 820 uh novice seller got an achievement for which is sell a card worth a certain amount okay i'm gonna go with recruit I'm going to hire Terence. So I'm going to put Terence on the till because they're faster. And we'll have this guy. I always forget the name. It's a till bot. It's going to be stock bot. Zachary. Yeah, they're going, to go, they're going to be doing some other stuff. Mainly refilling shelves. Confirm that one there. Just double check the spray levels. Spray level on this one is not looking great. But, you know, it'll be all, it'll be all right. Get that on the shelf. That one on the shelf. We've still got uh, like a really expensive card. Still one to go. Real expensive card. I'm tempted to do that again. I, we're not going to get as lucky as we were, but you know, it is at the end of the day completely random. That is the point, isn't it? And ah, there you go. That's pretty. Good card, worth 90. That's a nice art thing. There's another one, worth 20. There's another one worth uh, 53. I mean, that's good. A couple of new ones, silver editions. 
And there's another one worth 30. So we're still getting some good cards. Yeah. And there it is. Oh! Main counter. Restock shelf. Oh, should I also fill up the shelf with no label? No. Right, so let's see what they do. So I've told this person to restock. I assume they're not going to... Ah, oh, does this have to be outside? You know what? I don't think they'll restock unless you have a warehouse. I have a feeling that is the case. Mm. In that case, is it worth dismissing them? How much? 50 a day. Rest? Rest? What's up, boss? Yeah, I don't know. It says hired. There's a recruiting fee of 500, so I don't really want to get rid of them. And also, they are, with the best will in the world, they've been a loyal employee. They've turned up on time. Well, actually, that's not the case. They've turned up like an hour after the store's open. But, you know, we've had no complaints from uh, any of the customers. That's well on the price. Hang on, I meant to mend it to 100. Um, yeah, and, and just to replace them with a new person just seems to be a bit off. Hmm. I mean, we are just talking pixels here. I am aware. Um, <laughs> but thematically, you know, there is a bit of a narrative here. Look at this. This side here is just... Pssst. Just dumped in the corner. And there we go. So, we've just hit level 16 on shop level, which is good. Pretty happy with that. Uh, 55 for that one. And we're still selling. I think we will leave it there after the end of this day because I want to learn up I want to research about the person restocking I thought they would just find any empty boxes fill the shelf up and then leave but it seems like we may need a warehouse we'd have to get shop lot B mm, is that what it is shop lot B 500 or got an extra store expansion which I think the store expansion it's literally just these, yeah, the walls here. Because if we go out, we can see all of this empty space. So I think it just builds down there. It feels like that's what the deal is. Okay. Well, it's going to cost us how much? Uh, 200 to run the vintage event. Um, then it's the salaries, which is another 200. So we're already on 400 before anything else. Wow. Okay. I mean, maybe maybe we don't need two employees and actually Zachary, even at checkout speed slot, still is fine. The reviews are still good. Okay. We'll leave it there for now. That's been a bit of TCG, the car shop simulator. And next time we will look at, as always, getting more stock. I do think I want to get the next plushie, but it's about 900, I think. But as always, hope you have enjoyed it. And comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.